Pleased to meet you. This is Fixed and Folded, the knife review channel for the casual knife reviewer. My name is Cody and this is my assistant Tommy. And today we're going to be reviewing the Benchmade Readout. This one has some custom scales I'll talk about in a second. So I fell in love with the Benchmade Readout once I first held it. Uh, it comes with uh, like a polymer handle, uh, which the size of the handle and the blade shape was just amazing, but the texture of the handle I found without gloves was uh, too pokey. And uh, it just had nubs, has nubs all over it that just kind of couldn't even sand it off. It's just, uh, we kind of ruin it. So I thought, okay, well, why don't I get that knife and get some, look for some uh, custom handle scales that might uh, be more appropriate. So I've looked around and Advanced Weapon Technology has these aluminum, milled aluminum scales uh, that are just amazing. And this is uh, just kind of a perfect full-size knife for, for me and my extra-large hands. Uh, blade steel on the Benchmade readout is CPMD2. So with the particle, uh, the particle uh, creation, uh, you're going to have um, uh, more hardness more uh, toughness not hardness you're going to have more toughness with uh, with this over a normal d2 because you're getting finer grain structure uh, so less chance of chipping during uh, you know some uh, hard hard materials uh, so this becomes a solid mid mid-level steel you got a like five out of ten toughness and five out of ten edge retention with this with this d2 so um, Really, uh, yeah, really excellent all around mid-level steel. And it's coated because D2 is not stainless. Um, the action is excellent. Fit and finish, excellent. Blade was centered. Uh, it's really smooth. I'd say a lighter gauge spring. Lighter than one of the large knives like the Adamas or the Crooked River. Um, I would say axis lock spring tension is comparable to your Griptilian. Now let me compare with the Benchmade Freak. Yeah, this is the same spring tension as your Benchmade Freak. So with these uh, milled aluminum handle scales, you've got relatively thick handle, but it's light. And uh, they've got uh, milling, advanced weapon technology mills there uh, inside of their aluminum scales for light lightness. And the coating they put on this armor black colored handle scales is uh, has a nice texture to it. Just kind of feels like a G10. It's cool to the touch because it's metal, but extremely comfortable. Really beautiful looking too, with the design of the blade. You got your high flat grind and a false edge. And it tapers down to a point there with, obviously, you've got some good slicing ability with the shape and a good piercing ability too. Blade stock thickness is, I'd say, medium medium to medium thick. Um, this is just a great all-around knife. I'd say in a way this is maybe not the successor, but this is uh, very comparable to your Griptilian and uh, the more recent Freak. So we'll just do a direct comparison there. Got the Benchmade Freak, which is equivalent, just uh, basically just the design, just the visuals is... Uh, is the main difference. This has the Benchmade G10 handle, which feels very similar. Yeah, feels very similar to these uh, aftermarket scales, which is uh, super comfortable, super usable. Here you have a higher flat grind, and blade thickness is the same. Blade stock thickness is the same, and it's. Uh, really just aesthetic differences. You've got obviously a bit ramped up thumb 
area here and tapers down to a point. Performance cutting is very similar. So really it just comes down to price and what do you like the looks of the most because these are with the aftermarket scales these guys are really you know in the same ballpark for for size and performance price is different these guys are both not cheap this is pushing 300 dollars canadian and then in addition these aftermarket scales were another 160 dollars canadian so this is definitely not cheap this is expensive for a casual knife collector to uh, to own, but for me, totally worth it because uh, I just love the blade design, blade shape, material, the CPM D2, and uh, the feel and pocket carry of this knife. So, and the action, fit and finish, superb. This is the stock butterfly set, uh, center mount clip it comes with. I uh, deep deep carry, and let's put it in my pants here. I exclusively wear 511 strike pants and it has these two front pockets which you can use for uh, tactical flashlights or folding knives and it doesn't interfere with keys and phone and whatnot so depth is five and a half inches and this just goes down by about one inch really easy to pull in and out and pocket clip deep carry is no parts protruding visible and yeah really easy to carry pleasant in the pocket um yeah i definitely recommend if you're willing to pay a large price for this so for this setup is about 460 bucks canadian then you can have this uh yeah really ideal beautiful uh full-size knife if uh, you're into benchmade and a lot of the benchmade's designs i'm willing to pay the premium for like spider coast so yeah uh, let's see we'll do a more thorough size comparison here i'll use my standard benchmade bug out and we'll keep these guys together I'll compare with the uh, spyderco pm2 just comparable size comparable category there and you get your bigger knives you've got your benchmade adamas really handle size other than the thickness which is this is a little more beefy and blocky handle size is about the same but this does this is quite chunky and heavy and tanky and awesome this does feel a bit bigger than these other guys and then you got your extra extra large knife here with the recon one clip point all right so there's you've got your size comparisons and that concludes my review of the Benchmade readout. Okay, if you like my review, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you don't like my review, that's fine. Just, uh, I don't know, bad things are going to happen to you. Just kidding. Okay, uh, either way, thank you very much. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.